was a delicious meal, Benjamin. Really delicious. Oh, thank you. We are uh, so pleased that you enjoyed your first meal at the Ponderosa. I enjoyed it all thoroughly. Miss Melinda, you ain't tasted nothing yet. You taste some hot. At this point in my career, I was I was fortunate. I'd worked enough that what happened was my agent would say, "So and so would like you uh, for a part." Uh, I'm sending. They're sending the script around. The script would come, and it was work. I was always happy to work. And of course, to do Bonanza was great because that was a very big, popular show at the time. So I was delighted to uh, to do it. Brilliantly lit with hundreds of candles in crystal chandeliers, and in one part. Of and it was a wonderful experience. The uh, all of the cast, the, the regulars. They were so much in character. Uh, most of them. The only one who was different uh, was Michael Landon, uh, who plays this wonderfully soft. White stockings innocent young young boy in actual fact he was a very busy businessman uh, my recollection of him is that he was always sort of off to a telephone or off to an office lots of things very very busy man unlike Dan Block or Haas who uh, what you saw was what was what you got Pernell Roberts uh, of course was he was different it was a he, he related to the others, of course, and it was very friendly, but you always thought he's got another life going on somewhere. It's very mysterious. You don't like him so much. But do you know, his idea of a banquet is a hunt breakfast after an early morning exciting ride to the hounds. He has his own... And this hyperbole is just incredible as she builds this scene of, of what would be a, a house, a royal house in England back in Baltimore. And as you noticed, uh, Pernell Roberts uh, doesn't believe a word of it. Linda's given to these momentary spells. Poor darling, she's been so delicately born and so delicately bred. I think I better see that she's all right. Excuse me. much wiser than I am. Yeah. But you know, the things she was talking about, I have only read about them in books. Must be a lot different for you out here. I like it here. You rehearsed any opportunity you, you know, you got. And if they were shooting, say, close-ups at that table scene that we just saw, maybe some headshots there, and they shot you and, and uh, or Melinda and little Joe, then you could go off and, re and rehearse this on your own. And that was always a real plus at time for that. There was not always. Being the youngest. Well, here I am talking about myself, and it's really you I want to... But usually the actors would go off and run through their lines together before there was actually a, a, in, on the set with the lighting and so on. Quiet. With that house and all those servants and the governor coming to dinner all the time. Your father being a big newspaper publisher. What's the matter? You feel bad again? I think that kind of interaction happens uh, on a lot of series where people are together working, you know, many days a week together and, and you just, uh, they, you have fun. Otherwise, the days would be awfully long. There, there's so much time sitting around on a set waiting while the set is lit. Uh, cameraman decides on angles and so on and so forth. Discussions with the director and horseplay and, and teasing and practical jokes are, are really big. <laughs> 